Are we elevating that beer culture here? I think absolutely. Yeah, it is a premium product. And of course, who doesn't like washing down a good donut with beer? The goal of opening this place was to introduce like San Francisco to that culture of sitting in communion and drinking with friends and family. The large beer hall format is something we don't often see in cuisine in America. Like beer gardens as well, everyone is welcome and large quantities of food and beer are consumed in a, always a happy atmosphere. And I think that format hasn't been given a sophistication that I think is required. We have uh, beer elements in our donuts and they pair even better now with the beer. The sweet malt in the beer matches with the sweetness of the donut. And why not? The beer here, uh, paired with a chocolate glazed donut with a banana filling, is Aventinus. It's called a Doppelbach. The next donut and beer pairing we have here is a Paul Honor Salvatore beer, which is the archetype or the father of Doppelbach beer in Bavaria. Um, there are older beers, but this is the, the originator of the style. It's called Salvatore, our savior. The donut we have is a maple glazed donut with a beer cream filled center. Salvatore is the beer we use to make that cream. Again, this is a sweet beer. It has a lot going on. The alcohol content is higher, so to cut it with a donut is perfect. And it's rather indulgent, but delicious notes in the beer are echoed in the, in the donut. And just the fact that we made a beer cream with the beer, that alone is neat enough. I think to say I fell in love with beer isn't exactly correct, but I think to say that I fell in love with German beer is correct. And it wasn't until I visited uh, Bavaria and had beer in context did I really understand how important it was to the culture and how important it was to my culture. Um, and we've been bringing a lot of this into, into San Francisco and in the, in the West Coast for a long time. And we are able to offer some of the best selection of the best brewers in California. In fact, some of the beers we have, we were the first to serve them in America. The beers that we have on tap here at Rod House represent what we think is the very best of Bavarian brewing tradition. And it is the oldest continuous recorded brewing in history. And I think the brewing explosion in America has influenced beer in Germany as well. So I think the proliferation of IPAs, interesting hop styles, organic things that we have in America have made their way into Germany. So I think America has elevated the beer scene as well, and Germany has responded by reintroducing their history and their quality, and that's going to be good for everyone. I think the chef once said it well, we have to pinch ourselves when we realize that all we have to do is turn our heads and see the Golden Gate Bridge. Fort Mason is a wonderful place. There's always something going on, so just to be part of that community is tremendous. I'm happy every day. While we serve the best beer in the world, it would be silly for me to say anything else. Traditionally, we toast your health, but in Germany, we'd say Prost.